In this video, I will describe all the different members of Fistulidae in depth. First, let's start with consistencies between the genus. One of which being that the bigger a member of Fistulidae gets, the incentive to move to a different food source increases. All current members are terrestrial filter feeders, eating any edible dust they can get their hands or claws on. But as seen in Anthrophagus Fister, the single largest Fisteridae member since the connection, dust can't support bigger bodies. Fisteridae all also have thin arms with black skin. These arms are pure muscle and can either end with a claw or a simple hand. Fisteridae also have porous shells to gather the dust that it needs. These holes also breathe. Fisteridae regulates their breathing by having half their inhales for dust and the other half for air, closing dust passages. The only senses Fisteridae has is its feel and smell. All Fisteridae members are geometric shapes and have sharp edges on their shells. How all Fisteridae members reproduce is with mitosis, depending on the species this can take between 20 minutes to 4 hours. The way all of Fisteridae drinks is by using their hands or claws to carry soda to the shell and then pour the soda. Also inside all members of Fisheridae is fatty meat making it a target for predators willing to attack. Members of Fisheridae seem to have a front and back, preferring to travel with the front of the body being the part facing the direction it's going. But that's all the major consistencies between members, let's talk about specific members. Starting with Pecus Fister, the most common species before the connection. Pecus Fister is also the second smallest member of Fisheridae. Pecus Fister's arms are too weak to use as defense, only using them to move slightly faster and help dust reach its shell. Pecus Fister is primarily hunted by Didus Monstrum, Lada Otis, and occasionally Kaika Chaser. Sadly, Pecus Fister died in the connection. The next species is Amethysta Fister, who is the smallest member of Fisteridae. Amethysta Fister is a bright purple shell with six arms. Unlike all other members of Fisteridae, Amethysta travels in small groups between four and seven individuals. If a larger animal like Kayaka Chaser or Lata Otis wanders by, the group will attack with their clawed arms. Amethysta Fister is also one of the only Fisters to not be hunted by Didus Monstrum due to its small size. But it can be hunted by Lata Otis or Kayaka Chaser. Sadly, Amethysta Fister was killed in the connection. The next Fister is Rubinus Fister. Rubinus is the second biggest 60s cup Fister and has a dark red shell. Rubinus has 10 arms that are much stronger than other Fisturidae arms, and Rubinus is more than happy to attack anything that even could pose a threat, those threats mostly only being Lata Otis and Didus Monstrum. Gladly, Rubinus survived the Connection Extinction event. The final 60s cup Fister is Gigans Fister, with a pinkish shell. Although being the biggest species of Fister in the 60s and 80s cup, its shell is much weaker due to the extra holes in the shell to increase the amount of dust Gigans can take in. Gigans sheer size is able to scare most, but Gigans also produces a foul smell from its skin that distracts and thwarts other threats. Gigans even has paddle-like arms to help waft its smell further, although none of that helps against Didus Monstrum. Gigans has also reached the theoretical size limit for a filter-feeding Fisturidae member. Gigans did sadly die in the connection. And now time for the odd one out being the 80s cub Admus Fister, being the second largest Fister. Having a deep blue shell and 14 arms that are by far the strongest among Fisturidae. Admus is also the most aggressive, being the biggest factor towards the death of Amethysta, Pegasus, and Gigans Fister. Admus is mostly found near ponds and lakes, seemingly needing more soda than any other Fister. Admus is only hunted by Validus Valga and not Didus Monstrum, but both did die in the connection, so Admus has no current real predators. And that's all for Fisturidae.